hello good morning everyone i welcome you back to my youtube channel and presenting before you this tutorial is hampir kleman and of course today we'll be looking at integration by parts so the last time i thought i was given concepts on how to find integration by partial fractions how to decompose integrals into partial fractions and eventually solve them in that manner but today we'll be doing the same theorem but this time around we'll be using the integration by parts method now there is a special formula that you are supposed to know when you're dealing with integration by parts that formula is the integral of v du is equal to let me just try to write it nicely okay so the integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du so this is the formula that we use under this topic and we shall appreciate just how to go about using that formula let's get started so I'm going to solve the first question if I solve the first question see how easy this is going to be so we have been told that we have the integral of x then e to the x dx now we are supposed to know which one amongst what we have is going to be our u and which one amongst what we have here is going to be our v so to help us understand we use the mnemonic okay sorry we use the mnemonic lieti Okay. So to help us understand this, always remember to use the mnemonic Lieti. This is L is for log, I for inverse trigonometric, this is A for algebra, T for trigonometry, E for exponential functions. So this is the order in which they come. So in this case, algebra is coming first than exponential. Meaning, our u is going to be equated to algebra. So in this case, u u is going to be equated to algebra which is x then du is going to be just dx of course this is supposed to be dx then v let me just say dv dv is going to be equated to e to the x so that if we integrate this d and the integral are going to go and we shall remain with just e to the x all right so we now use our formula we know that the integral of u dv is equal to 
uv minus the integral of v du. So from here, what is our u? Our u is simply x. Okay, our u is simply x. So we put our x here. Then what is our v? Our v is simply e to the x minus the integral of v. v is simply e to the x. Then what is du? du is dx. We have it here. From here, this is just the same as x e to the x minus what is the integral of e to the x? It's e to the x plus c. So this marks our final answer for the first question. Now let's try to go a little bit deeper. We we'll try to analyze if we have been given a question having a power like b. So if I solve b, then it means we'll be able to solve everything. How about if we have the integral of x to the power 2, then e to the x, dx. Of course, we use the same concept, Lietti. Algebra comes first. Notice that u is going to equal to... Let me, let me try to do everything somewhere else. So my u is equal to x to the power 2. Notice that du is equal to 2x dx. dv is going to equal to e to the x. If I integrate this, of course, dx. If I integrate this, my d is going to go as well. I'm going to remain with v equal to e to the x. So, we use the formula. Integral of u dv is equal to u v minus the integral of v du. What is our u? Our u is simply x to the power 2. What is our v? Our v is simply e to the x minus the integral of what is v? It is simply e to the x. What is du? du is 2x dx. Now from here, we have another expre uh, we have another expression inside here which we need to work out. So the question cannot end like this. So in this case, this is going to be equal to this is just x to the power 2 e to the x minus we can factor out 2 since it's a constant integral of this is going to be e to the x x dx all right so from here we can come up with something notice that algebra comes first for this particular exp expression so in this case my u is going to be x my du is going to be my dx notice that v let me just name it as dv it will be equal to e to the x and of course if i integrate this that and that will go and my v is going to remain as just e to the x of course not forgetting dx so from here this is going to be equal to x to the power 2 e to the x minus 2 integral of uv minus 
sorry, this is supposed to be brackets, UV, okay, so supposed to be UDV, it's supposed to be V, VDU, sorry. All right, so this is going to be V DU. Okay, so from here, let me just try to create some space. All right, so I'll try to, let me just try to wrap this. All right, so from here, this is just the same as equal to, this is x to the power 2, e to the x minus 2. What is u? u is simply x, and v is e to the x. And of course, this is minus. We are going to have a v. A v, of course, is e to the x, and du is dx. So from here, our final answer is going to be x power 2 e to the x minus 2x e to the x plus 2 e to the x plus c. So this is our final answer for this particular question. So this is just how you solve integration by partial fractions. All right. Let's try to do d. Now for D, it's very simple. We well, have been given the integral of lin x dx. So in this case, we use Lietti. Logs comes first. So in this case, our u will be equated to lin x du is just 1 over x dx dv our dv is going to be dx this part so if I integrate this my v will remain to be what is integral of dx? The integral of dx is simply x. We'll get back to our formula. The integral of u dv is going to equal to u v minus integral of v du. What is our u? It is lin x and v is x minus integral v notice that v is x and du is 1 over x dx now when you reach here this and that can cancel and we're going to remain with lean x then x inside of course minus integral of x let me just say dx integral of dx so from here the final answer is going to be all right let me let me just try to wrap this now the final answer is going to be let me just put my x in front so that it looks good so this is going to be x lin x minus of course, integral of dx is simply x plus some constant c. So 
So this is how you do this particular question. Okay, we get to the other part. How about if we do E? So E is also very simple. We have the integral of this is just the same as x okay this is x lin x dx liety so we're dealing with log log scans first before algebra notice that our u is equal to lin x and this is very interesting because if algebra came first than log it would be very difficult for us to come up with the integral of lin x. Notice that du is equal to 1 over x dx. dv, our dv is x. And if I integrate this, my v is going to equal to 1 over 2 x okay so this is to the power 2 of course we write our formula so we have u dv equal to uv minus integral of v du what is our u lean x and our v is 1 over 2 x to the power 2 minus the integral v this is x to the power 2 du is 1 over x dx so from here Notice that this x can cancel with this x and we are going to have something which will look like this. Lean of x 1 over 2 x to the power 2 minus we can remove our constants and this is going to be 1 over 2 lean not 1 over 2 integral of x dx from here this is just the same as 1 over 2 natural log of all right let me just try to write in a proper way okay we can we can we can put our x power 2 here and lean x minus Notice that integral of x is 1 over 2 x to the power 2. Okay, so this is just the same as 1 over 2. 1 over 2 x to the power 2. And our final answer. Our final answer is going to be. over 2 x to the power 2 lean x minus 1 over 2 let me just say 1 over 4 x power 2 plus some constant c so this is how you solve this particular question all right let's get to do some other question how about if you have been given x sine x dx okay so we're going to solve f 
the integral of this is x sine x dx so algebra comes first and trig so u will equal to x du will equal to dx dv is sine x if, you, if i integrate this remember that dy dx of sine x is positive cosine x so integral of sine x is the opposite so it will just be negative cosine x u dv is equal to u v minus integral of v du what is u it's just x and our v is negative cosine x minus what is v v is negative cosine x and what is our du our du is just dx all right so from here this is just the same as minus x cosine x notice that this is going to be plus the integral of cosine x dx minus x cosine x okay cosine x plus what is the integral of cosine x remember that dy dx of cosine x is negative sine x so this time around it's going to be positive sine x plus c this is how you solve this particular question all right let's get to solve some other question let me solve g but g is very simple i'll try to solve it very fast integral of this is x to the power 2 sine x dx we use the same concept liety algebra comes first than log than trig so my u will be x to the power 2 my du will be 2x dx my dv will equal to sine x if i integrate this my v is going to equal to negative cosine x and of course we write my our formula integral of u dv is equal to uv minus integral of v du what is u u is x to the power 2 and what is v v is negative cosine x minus what is v v of course is negative cosine x and du is 2x dx from here this is just the same as negative x power 2 cosine x okay minus well let me just say plus 
because this and this so multiplying will give us positive notice that 2 is a constant we can remove it we can factor it out and we remain with cosine x x dx okay so whenever you have something like this you're not done x to the power 2 cosine x plus 2 notice that we'll need to come up with another formula uv minus the integral of v du okay now let me just try to wrap that so from here my u remains to be x and my du is simply dx notice that my dv is cosine x if I integrate this, the y dx of cosine x is post is negative sine x, so the opposite is positive sine x. Let me create some space. So we have something like negative, sorry, negative x power 2 cosine x plus 2. What is u? It is x. And what is v? Sine x minus integral of my v is sine x dx minus x power 2 cosine x plus of course this is going to be 2x sine x like that integral of sine x remember dy dx of sine x is positive cosine x so the opposite is negative sine x negative sorry negative cosine x so negative multiplied by negative cosine x is positive so we're going to have plus two positive cosine x plus some constant c and this happens to be our final answer all right. This is very simple. So you can solve any other question under this topic. You can solve this. You can solve this. You can solve this as long as you've understood the concepts. Thank you so much. And you will find this tutorial very interesting and helpful. Please consider subscribing and sharing our video so that others may also learn from us. Thank you so much.